All right, so I'm out of sight of a 2018 Honda, uh, Pi, or excuse me, Honda Ridgeline. This is actually the sport model. Uh, so I want to search off in the bed and just show you a couple things. Uh, you'll notice it is lined. It does come with a, you know, you got your tow hooks in here already. So if you need to strap down something, you've got hooks set up for you. And uh, then you do some of additional storage in here. Um, now, this is lockable, your uh, additional storage down in the bed. Now, moving into it, I will point out there is a drain plug. So if you wanted to fill this with ice and drinks, you absolutely could and then drain it out. Uh, and then notice that your spare and everything is right here. Uh, it actually slides out this way. So that's how this works. So I just wanted you to see that first. Now my tailgate is set up, it's dual action, so I can control it, how it's swinging out right now, and the grab right under here, uh, you'll see there's a little handle I can grab, uh, or I can flip it down classic uh, and go that route. So that's how this works. So that way you have a better idea for it, and then you can see my backup camera is actually right here. Uh, so that's what's going on from here. Uh, now, moving over to the passenger side of the vehicle, I flipped up this seat just so you could see it flipped up and kind of underneath it. So it's got a small rail system right there, and you have storage under here. A lot of them, they use this negative space, and they don't give you the storage. So just be aware, this truck does offer that. Uh, and then if I want to throw it back down, it's as simple as pulling it up, and it's down in place. Uh, and then you will notice in the back of this vehicle, I do have air vents. Um, so that's what's going on. I have the seats folded back or pushed back as far as I can uh, just to show you. And so I'm six foot, and I can ride behind myself with it all the way back. Uh, if I needed to. So even a, a grown person can get back here. Now let's hop in the car and show you some different things. All right. So start you over on the left side and work your way across. Uh, power windows, my driver and passenger side are auto up down so I can tap them once and it'll send it all the way down or all the way up. Uh, my door locks, my window lock controls are right here. LED means they're uh, on. Uh, my mirror controls left and right are right here and then the pad I can adjust accordingly right there. So that's what is going on from there. My econ button is right here. Anytime I turn this button on, you're gonna see that green leaf come on. Uh, so you can see it flashing at me right now. It just means it'll affect your gas mileage in a positive way. How it works though is it's gonna shut down the electrical systems in the, front, in the front of the car, affecting things like your ACE unit. It won't blow quite as hard. And your accelerator, if you smash it all the way to the floorboard, it's not gonna take off and go quite as fast. Moving down below that, there's two different buttons down here. Vehicle stability assist, this works with your traction control. In the event that you go into a skid, it'll transfer power to whichever tire is getting better traction to help correct the skid. That's always on unless you press and hold that to turn it off. Only time you'd want to turn it off is if you were stuck in the mud and wanted to spin your tires. So that's how that works. Next to it is your cargo lighting. Pretty self-explanatory, it throws on the lights in the back. That way if you're loading some up at night, you can tell what you're doing. All right, moving up to the steering wheel. So I'm starting at the top left. My plus and minus right here over my volume controls. Left and right will jump between favorite stations. Uh, you know, if I have USB hooked up or Bluetooth, jump between tracks. And then source will jump between FM, AM, USB, Bluetooth, all those different things. So that's how that works. Moving down, my Bluetooth controls. So to answer a call, setting up a call and use voice command, as far as, you know, press this, call so-and-so, that sort of thing. Moving over to the right side. So first thing I'll show you is my cruise control. Uh, cruise, right here, if I have this on, you'll see cruise main come on, that's that green box flashing at me. Uh, that'll stay on. So I can turn the car off, walk back out to the car, get in, crank it up. If it's on, it'll stay on. So the next time I get in the car, it's always on. Uh, it's just kind of nice because that way once I get up to speed, I can just press set and it'll automatically set the cruise control. I don't have to press a lot of different buttons. Uh, and you can see I've canceled and then I have a plus and a minus right here if I want to change the speed that it's cruising at. Um, so that's how that works. Now down here, there's a couple buttons. This control is actually this display up here. So if I press the up arrow, it'll start toggling through different screens. So I can get to my oil life, I can get to my tire pressure. Uh, you know, this is gonna be tripometer information. Um, you know, trip A and trip B, um, and then if you want to reset it. So that's what's going on here. And then you can see I have the reset button if I want to reset my trips. So that's what's going on right here. <clears throat> Car does have auto on off headlights. You'll notice right there, auto is set to the hash mark right now. So that way they'll turn on and off by themselves. So I can turn them on completely. Or if I just want my parking lights on, there you go. Uh, then my fog lights right here. So I can do the same thing. They're on if they line up, now they're off. So that's how this works. And then moving over to the other side, uh, windshield wipers pull down to set them, and then it is intermittent, so I can affect exactly the speed on them. So that's what's going on from there. Um, now, inside of this car, it is a you know a movable steering wheel. I feel like those are standard features now, but I just wanted to show you where it is. Uh, and then while I'm pointing down here, you can see there's your gas pop deal open, uh, and then the hood release. So both of those releases are right there. Now, moving over to the screen. Uh, first thing I'll show you is the car does have a backup camera, so let's throw it into the uh, reverse, and I'll show it to you. Um, so that way you can see what's going on. You can change views on this. So if I press this, it will change. So I've got three different views. I've got a wide angle view that you're seeing right now. So you can see 170 degrees. That's why you can see down the line of cars that's next to me. Standard backup camera. And then this one's aimed straight down. So right here is the edge of my back bumper. You can actually see it. Um, and then where my, my uh, if I flip down the uh, the tailgate, that's where it'll hit. Uh, and then that's for, that's for parallel parking, that solid line right there. 
And those two lines are in every single one of these pictures. So that way you know what's going on as far as your backup camera. <clears throat> so hopefully that helps you out some. Um, as far as the screen goes, it's a pretty classic setup as far as the stereo goes. Uh, to get your radio, audio, this would be like Bluetooth and, uh, and USB. Uh, to turn it completely on and completely off right there. Uh, jumping over to my Bluetooth as far as phone related stuff is going to be right here. If you need to add a phone for the first time, press it, scroll down, select yes. Uh, and then once your Bluetooth is on on your phone, hit OK, and then they'll search for each other. So pretty simple process as far as that. My back button, in case you get into a screen you don't want to get to, important button to remember. Menu. So this is going to pull up a few different things. I can adjust the clock. Uh, I can scroll down to settings. Settings is going to be my Bluetooth settings as far as deleting and removing connections, things like that. Um, if I want to get to display adjustments, rear camera, uh, that'll just turn the guidelines on and off, display changes, wallpaper, color theme. If I want this instead of it to be blue, I want it to be, make it red or amber, uh, and then the language if I want to change that, or if I want the uh, 24 hours uh, military time setup versus just standard 12 hour setup. Um, now, below this, my AC unit, I can have it synced up and it'll control left and right all on one side. So you can see I'm adjusting everything from my one side. Uh, if I unsync it, now I can adjust the temperature of this one and keep it different from this one. So that's how that works. So that's what's going on here. Now, uh, I do have control over the rear settings too. So to jump to just rear, press the rear button. Now I can adjust the, the airspeed and then you know how much air they get, you know what temperature it is, right? And then jump back out of it. Uh, so that's how that works and I can turn it on and off also. And then this will turn uh, the front. So this is how all these features work here. Now, moving down some, you'll see I do have a power outlet down here. Uh, I additionally do have another power outlet inside of here and a USB. Uh, so if you wanted to, you know, be able to charge your phone and listen to some music or just plug a thumb drive in, you could absolutely do that too. Now, moving over to the shifter, it's just a classic shifter, you know, all your park, uh, reverse, neutral, drive, and lower gears. Uh, and then you do have four settings as far as traction control. When you press that button, you're going to see it pop up normal, snow, mud, sand. And what it's doing is just affecting the shift points. That way, it'll create a little bit better traction in the car uh, and, and prevent, uh, you know, any kind of slippage or issues. So that's how that works. Uh, this is the sport model. Um, so you notice it does have a black interior uh, with like a, a graphite finish to it. And that way you can see the back too. Uh, so that's what's going on in this particular model, uh, silver on black, right? Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. You can always uh, contact me via the YouTube video. Uh, you can call me at 512-443-4300. Um, or you can always email me at the letter J and then Fuller. So jfuller at howdyhonda.com. Thank you much.